Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for attending my talk. Thank you so much to Christopher Lafayette and Gatherverse for having me here. I am grateful to be speaking at Free Spring. Mental health is something that we don't talk about, but it's time that we speak up. I'm here to share my own story. I'm also here to help you figure out how you can have the courage and wisdom to share your own. I am Dr. Messina Morris. I'm the Metaversity Director of Morehouse in the Metaverse, where we made virtual reality the classroom. I am also CEO and founder of Metaverse United, where we help people find where they belong in the embodiment of the internet called the metaverse. You can find me at unitethemetaverse.com. This is one of the most important months of the year. It's May and it's Mental Health Awareness Month. I'm gonna talk to you about immersive meditation practices to improve your mental mantle. I am a professor at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. Morehouse College is a very special place. It is a place that cultivates young black male minds in order to build servant leaders in our community. <sighs> Talking about my own journey is challenging but it is also healing. I'm so many things, and I'm so many things to so many people. What I realized about that was, I was so many things to so many people and no one for myself. And that had to change. So, if you know me, you know some of my story. But for my new friends here, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me. I am a wife to a techie and a gamer. I am a mother to five sons. Two of my sons have been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. One has moderate support needs and is limited verbal. The other is high functioning and highly communicative. I have also been a caregiver to someone, my mother-in-law who I love dearly, who had early stages of dementia. All while working a full-time job as a professor, nurturing, and educating 2,200 young black men, being the department chair of chemistry, developing chemistry content in virtual reality, starting businesses, doing speaking engagements, running an educational consulting firm, and also making sure that I showed up at basketball games for my young people and conferences and things like that. I also serve in my community on national and local boards and also within my professional societies. And those things are important to me. The thing about it is I love the work that I do. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it so much that doing it was nearly killing me. As a black woman, you learn from a very young age how to deal. And I learned a lot of methods as to how to hide what I was feeling, how to pray it out, shout it out, 
and get back to the business of being everything for everybody. And I realized that that wasn't going to cut it. And I realized that everything that I thought meant the world to me was about to be taken from me because I was no longer in a healthy state of mind or at capacity to be able to enjoy the things that I love to do the most. This last year was such an important time for me. There was a lot of growth on our metaversity front. We tripled our virtual reality course offerings and have offered 15 courses now in virtual reality across all disciplines. We have 450 MetaQuest 2 headsets circulating on the campus of Morehouse College. And student demand and faculty demand has increased. I have 24 faculty members waiting to get into the program and being trained right now to know how to teach their courses in virtual reality. My business has taken off. And for that, I'm grateful. True confession, I'm also a high functioning person with depression, anxiety, and I am a self-identified woman with neurodiverse learning challenges and issues. And no one told me until I started investigating that I also have autism spectrum disorder. Girls typically get overlooked because they can function socially and cope. But I discovered as a mom working on a PhD with four children in biomolecular chemistry, that coping was the last thing that I could do. And there I started my journey to see how I could get help beyond what I even understood I needed. And there I sought therapy and medication treatments, holistic approaches and everything in order to become a better me. I'm not sure what you need, but I'm gonna give you and advice, a peek into my world, a peek into what I did with our young kids at Morehouse College that gave them a peace of mind and some freedom and a time to reflect and community, a sense of belonging and a sense that someone was there for them. Even though we use immersive virtual reality in the academic classroom. I thought that it would be an awesome idea to use it to bring our community of young black men together. They were hearing so many things over the pandemic that affected them, including young black men being killed in the streets. And they felt like targets a lot of them felt like, how could we tell them that their future was bright and believe us when the world didn't see them the same way, didn't value them, nor saw their worth or their intelligence. We had bomb threats to our campuses on HBCU campuses this year. And in the Atlanta University Center, Clark Atlanta, Morehouse College, and Spelman College all had to shut down because of it. And our students were living scary, on the edge lives. And I could tell their livelihoods were zapped. It's hard to concentrate on what the future will be when you're living day to day. And that's what our students were doing. They were starting to become traumatized by just being black men. And a lot of our young black men and black male population are traumatized. 
Let me tell you a little statistic. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has statistics on these things. And in 2020, 49% of young people ages 18 to 23 died by suicide and or homicide. If you break that down demographically to look at just young black men ages 18 to 23, which is college age, 64% die by suicide or homicide. And I knew that was a problem because there were some mental issues not being addressed hatred towards self and hatred projected outward in rage is homicide. So what we decided to do was to implement a program called Meditation Mondays in the Metaverse. And boy, did our students show up. At 6 a.m. on Monday mornings, Right before they got into their day of their week, they would get on to their headsets and we would do sleepy meditations sometimes. But we would do praise and worship, but also be together, share stories. And along the way, I was able to teach them some meditative practices. We meditated on our digital twin campus, beautifully created by Victory XR, our educational partners. And we were also able to meditate alone using different apps on the App Store in the MetaQuest 2, like TripVR or Helium, wonderful applications for helping to develop a meditation and a mindfulness practice. My students thrived. My students felt like they had a sense of community. My students journaled their way through this experience and reflected on how helpful it was. So I have a lot of information about how useful developing a mindfulness practice was for them and learning how to consistently show up for themselves and their brothers was one of their greatest gifts. Being Dr. Mom is so important to me. That's what my students call me. And as long as it means that I'm molding their minds, then I'm okay with it. But in order for them to serve, in order for us to know that we're building disciplined minds of men who lead lives of leadership and service, it's important that they first learn to serve themselves. And it's important that you learn how to serve yourself. And that starts within. Immersive virtual reality is a way to help center your mind free from distraction and help you focus on your inward self. Focus on learning how to be a human being, not just a human doing. I've already been down that road and I promise you, it's not the road best traveled. It's not the road that you want to exist on. You do not want to go down that road. It's detrimental to your health. And sometimes reaching out for help also makes a difference. And that is also an important lesson that they learned. That rather than sitting, isolating themselves in their dorm rooms and not reaching out to their cohorts of friends, families, professors, professionals, was also not the road that they wanted to travel. Doing the work is extremely important. Doing that viable inner work of seeking who you need to be to show up well in the world, that's important. 
That is where you find value. That's how you learn to create safe boundaries for yourself in safe spaces. Being in virtual reality was important for establishing a sense of well-being and community for young men at Morehouse. And that's how I know that it can happen for you. How do I know that it was going to work for them? Because I needed something. Because COVID shut down the world, I was developing a program, running a business, remote learning my students as well as my children, and trying to take care of my mother-in-law during a pandemic. And I realized that I needed to learn how to take care of me because that I hadn't learned how to do. And I found these immersive virtual techniques that I could use. And it helped me learn how to show up for myself daily, how to be consistent in my practice and how to put myself first when all the time I felt like I didn't belong. You belong to this world. But before that, you belong to yourself. And I want you to be healthy. I want you to know that self-care is not just a spa day. It's about creating environments that you want to inhabit. It's about checking in with your mental health. You can use immersive virtual reality to do that. You can use these immersive technologies that are cutting edge to help you. You can turn on your soundscapes or even your dance music and meditatively dance your way through. Help yourself find your joy. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve to show up if you want to, like I do with purple hair and big old earrings and colorful African prints or whatever your print is. You can show up however you want authentically and be confident in who you are and the brain and the intellect you have, the heart you have. And you can put humanity first if you put humanity first. Your humanity. Put yourself first. Take care of yourself first. You see, you don't have to be afraid to show up authentically as yourself. Today, this message, this message to all of you is the most important lesson that I've ever taught. Because I want you to know I've been down that road of it all falling apart. And I was able to put back the pieces, set clear boundaries, and show up for myself. You matter more than anything else in this world. So cherish yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. Give yourself a high five. Get vulnerable. Be okay with not being okay. And there are people professionals there to help you, therapies for you, ways in which you can reach out. Checking out is not a solution. The problem still exists. Get help. There is a National Suicide Prevention Line. It's okay to not want to be here, but we don't want you to act on that. We need you here. So if you're thinking about harming yourself or others, please reach out to get help. There's a whole community here that is willing to help you. In immersive virtual reality, take time at the early part of your day or the latest part of your night to just be with you. Realize how good you are how wonderful you are, and how much you have to offer this world. We need you. We need you to survive. And so I will conclude this talk by saying, whenever you need a friend, you have one here 
And if it's the last resort, feel free to call me. UniteTheMetaverse.com. That's where I am. Reach out and I'll be your friend. I am your friend. We are all connected and it's important that you understand how valuable you are. See yourself. Be yourself. And you can use immersive virtual reality to do that. And I look forward to developing and building a community even outside of the gates of Morehouse College to do that for you. Look for more information coming from me about developing this community because I want to make sure that you know where you belong in the environment of the internet called the metaverse. And I want to help you belong to a community of like-minded individuals who want to see you here, who want to see you thrive. And so, survive, be strong, but be strong means being vulnerable and just being is quite enough. Thank you for listening to my talk for hearing me. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you know how valuable you really are. And I hope you know that this cutting edge and emerging technology is there to help you to improve the quality of your life and it can be used to do so. So use it for that and enjoy every single day because since I learned how to be a human being and stop being a human doing, I found the greatest joy that I never knew discovering me. Thank you. <laughs>